When I think about greatness, I'm always reminded that it's, we got to practice. We got to keep working to get better. Hope is really not a strategy. You believe and you behave your way to high performance. And, I, and this week we've been talking about passion. So how do we activate what we've been talking about? We, we try to kind of land everything that we do. The last couple of weeks, we've been breaking up our content into short form. And every time we drop content, we're always trying to give you some things that you can do, some things that you can practice to get better. So this week, I would encourage you to get a copy of Finding Your Way. I never try to sell you anything, but uh, I, I really would encourage you to get this book. It's just been such a great little resource for so many. Uh, I, and I'll read to you off the dust jacket what Ron Wallace, Ron was the former president of UPS International. Uh, I think 400,000 employees <laughs> Ron's leading. And here's what he said. Finding your way is a must read for those searching for the right path in life. Age doesn't matter. Reading this book is like cleaning a mirror. The more you read, the clearer the image. This book might be your wake-up call to get you re-energized and back into the game. It did for me. I appreciate those words from Ron. I think this book could really be something that would be helpful to you as you think about living with passion. We've been talking about it. I even gave you the, the model out of here. But there's there's a journal in the back of this. first half of it is a 100-page story, uh, a parable, really. And then uh, the last half is, is a journal that you can work through that will really help you get clear on who you are and what you should be doing with your life. Well, let's let's kind of recap what we've talked about this week a little bit. Passion, we said, is is living into that area where you love. It's something that you you just you feel like you're born to do. I mean, and, and as we, we talked about that, uh, I wanted to not just say that, I wanted to give you some ways to think about your life and process it. And so as just like we did last week on purpose, I want to encourage you to set up a little meeting with yourself this weekend, maybe this afternoon, as you end the week, you might just you might take a few minutes and just say, okay, what not just why am I here, but really how am I wired? Like what is my most unique way to impact the planet? And then think through like what is a man do you bring to whatever it is you're doing? Or what is a woman do you bring to whatever it is you're trying to do? What is your background as you think back to where you were raised, and your experiences, your education, the jobs you've had, the, the things that you really bring to the table? What are those? And begin to identify those. In your meeting with yourself, you might even write some of those things out. And then ask yourself, what is it that I really enjoy? What is missing maybe from my life right now? What are some things that I feel like maybe there's a lack of alignment and the things I'm passionate about, they're just not... I, I, I feel like the, the flow of my life, remember that? We talked about the flow. It just feels like it's just cut off. It's things. Are there some places in your life where you feel like things are just not flowing the way they should be? If that's true, I encourage you to, to back up and say, okay, what's causing that? What's What's got that dammed up in my life? You know, where are the beavers coming and busy work has, has popped in or maybe there's, there's tasks that I have at work that you're not going to love everything that you do. But if you're in a job where everything that you do is, is something that you don't love, then it might be time for you to, to think about uh, looking into a new spot. And as you do that, you're going to want to make sure that it's a place where you have passion. Go back to that finding your way process, whether you get the book or not. You know, Look back, look in, look up, look out. Some of those things that we talked about in the episode a couple days ago. And then ask yourself those three questions, and you might write those down on your on your paper there in your meeting with yourself where's the where is the fulfillment right now in my life what is it would bring me fulfillment if you could write some of that out it might just help you to write that out and to think through that to process it where's the energy what brings energy to me you might even list four or five things like what are the things that would real really need to be true for me to feel fulfilled in my career what are the things outside my career that i need to put energy into me so i have energy to give when i go to my career or energy for my family when i'm outside of work and then finally where is the affirmation in my life who is it that is on my team who's with me who who do i feel like i'm really helping if you can answer some of those questions they'll really position you to to know what your passion area is and then here's the cool thing if we can really identify what our passion is and we can line our lives up with that. Remember, we talked a few days ago about, you know, the, the almost the passion and the, and the purpose chiropractor. We've been we've been talking about. If there's a lack of alignment in any area of your life, there's going to be frustration. If it's passion, there's a lack of alignment when it comes to your passion. You're you're passionate about something, but you're doing something else. You're going to be frustrated all the time. So if there's frustration that flow's been cut off. Uh, I, I want to encourage you. You got to do something about that. You got to own that. That's not somebody else's responsibility. The government's not going to fix that. Education's not going to fix that. Your parents aren't going to fix that. I don't. I don't care who you are. You got to take responsibility for you for your life. It's not about you. 
but it's important for you to understand you and, and to know that you're living your life true to who you were born to be. If you'll do that, not only are you going to be fulfilled, others are going to benefit as well, and you're going to feel really great. I hope you'll find your way. It is, it is so important for you to live in, be true to who you were born to be. Who, how are you wired up? If you can, if you can discover that, and you can live according to that, uh, your life's going to be great. There really is greatness, and you keep chasing it. And, and it starts with understanding your purpose, but also living in and leaning in to your passion.